Hello, welcome to Easy English. Today is our one hundredth episode. Woo! Cheers, Easy. We're having a beer and a wine. Maybe you want to join us. Nola growled. And Nola is also very grumpy, so this should be a fun one. <laughs> Cheers. First of all, we want to thank you for supporting us all along the way and for watching our videos. There are 50,000 of you to go along with our 100th episode. And I know, secretly, because I look at all the statistics, that there are some people who watch all of our videos and are not subscribers. So now is your subscribe. chance. Subscribe, subscribe. now, subscribe. please. Subscribe. Pretty subscribe. please. Because we want to reach 100,000. <laughs> yes. Next week. <laughs> So as I said, it's our 100th episode, and so we thought we'd do a question and answer section, or a Q&A. A Q&A. And a. A Q and a. A Q and a. So we asked you to send in questions that you have to us about Easy English, about whatever, and you've sent many, thank you so much. We picked some to answer today. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Question one. When is the Easy English podcast coming? That came often. <laughs> that was a few times. <laughs> yeah, because we have, we wanted to start a podcast a year ago. Yeah, we kind of did as well. We did. We had the Easy English Show. Maybe you've watched it on YouTube. We had three episodes already. Yeah. We have more recorded already. Yeah. But we didn't yet start the podcast completely because we wanted it to be perfect. There will be a podcast soon. Please let us know in the comments if you are looking forward to this because we are super excited about it. And we can't wait to have a podcast next to our video, so... Yeah, yeah. And we really want to cool. do certain things like um, culture questions for Easy, as she is in England quite a lot of time. Culture shocks. Culture shocks. <laughs> and we will do some maybe reviews of British film and TV to help you learn English. Yeah. Uh, what else might we do? We might we'll have guests. Teach, teach you a lot of slang. Slang. We, yeah, might, we will have guests for sure. Some guests. I already have a big list in my head. Yeah. Let us yeah. know who you want on. Elton John, Cliff Richards. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Oh, Tom no Hardy. Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. So, someone asks, when can we expect easy Scots? Wow. Yeah, good question as well. It is a good question because we've generally just been filming in Brighton and while Brighton and great. is a really great place to start off with, <laughs> um, we generally don't have that many diverse accents and um, colloquialisms that maybe you'd find further up north or in the more sort of regional areas of Great Britain or the UK. And at some point, we also would like to do maybe something like an Easy English tour. Yeah. And we'll get a bus to take me, Easy, and our dog all around GB. And we will find Brits in the darkest, <laughs> furthest places. Darkest. <laughs> so if you are living somewhere in the UK and would like to create a video with us, to be on camera with us, to show us your village, to show us your local brew. We want to taste all the local beers. To show us your local meals, the best pub in your area, any tourist attractions, landscapes yeah. um, that you can show us. We would love to meet up with some people of you and create some great episodes. So please, best to send us a message on Instagram yeah. and get in contact with us. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, so next question. Um, someone next. writes to us... Uh, do you provide learning exercises on your Patreon? This is a regular question. <laughs> this is or was a regular question because we mm. can say now, we do! Finally we do. we do. Yeah, we've been doing this now for yes. a few weeks. There's a few episodes you can yeah. get learning exercises for. Let us know if you already are a Patreon. Let us know how you like mm. them, if you like them. And if not, let us know what else you would like to see on our Patreon any perks you wish for that you haven't seen there yet or anything that would motivate you to support us. Anyway, it would be great if you would support us on Patreon for all the perks that we offer, but maybe also just because you like watching our videos. And yeah, it keeps us going and keeps us being able to continue producing videos. So it would be really, really great if you would support us. Yeah, yeah. It's really amazing. good motivation for us to keep on improving our episodes, but also the extras as well, because this exercises sheet 
uh, we weren't sure we should do it and then so many of you asked and then we started making it and it actually turns out it's quite a fun thing to do yeah you know they are there's like fill in the blank questions there's choose the right and wrong answers and all these and there's a little there's a few few sections on British slang which um, if you're learning through easy languages then you'll know that the whole point of easy languages is kind of picking up on these bizarre sort of nuances in the English language or every language. Oh, yeah, the street spoken language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And things that maybe aren't so grammatically correct that you will just hear when you're out and about on the streets. Yeah. So, yeah, we cover all of that in those exercises. So. We want you to really understand Brits when you come to Britain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think most of these books where you learn languages, you learn this kind of very fancified um, English. Whereas I think if you were to land in Liverpool Airport or in Newcastle Airport and Edinburgh Airport, you would be a bit overwhelmed at the accents and dialects. I just remember a message actually from an American, a US American, coming to London saying he didn't understand a word. And that is saying a lot. Wow, yeah. But it's never, it's not always that bad, trust me. <laughs> no, but there are some dialects which you'll yeah, think this sure. is not English. This cannot be English. That's Hopefully we we'll cover that on, on our tours. Yeah, yeah, we'll come visit those people. <laughs> Okay, we have another question called How to learn English if you don't remember the words? I'm on nub level. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't really, I don't completely understand this question, but um, me and Easy have recently been speaking about possibly doing something along the lines of a super easy English or a more grammatical sort of version of easy English. Um, so it, this is a short one, I guess, because it's more of a question to you now. Because, yeah, from, from you guys, we know that most of you are advanced learners mm. um, and speak on a on a very advanced level. But are there people that would like to have beginner videos where yeah. we do grammar questions or specific vocabulary on, on a topic? Yeah, and yeah. we see there's lots of videos like this online, actually, or I see it specifically. Lots of people teaching in front of a whiteboard, which I think, in my opinion, must be quite boring way to learn grammar I think so if you want this then we will find a way to make this in an interesting storytelling narrative kind of way I think we hope we will try <laughs> <laughs> why are you both so extraordinary awesome question mark and big red hat no this is from a friend <laughs> so yeah shout out to this friend I don't know if she wants us to say the she name knows who she but is. she knows who she is Big love to you. Thank you. <laughs> that is cute. If it your friends cute. support what you do. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We also got some comments in. Someone said, all right, hopefully you'll be the bee's knees. <laughs> Explain, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are the bee's knees, I think. Or I'd like to think we're the bee's knees. And the bee's knees is kind of a colloquialism for excellent or fantastic. It's actually better than excellent or fantastic. So thank you very much to this person who wrote in. Um, but they did say said, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> I just reread that hopefully we'll be the bee's knees hopefully we are the bee's knees he wants to tell us something <laughs> try harder is there still an 11pm curfew in pubs in the UK actually most pubs in the UK only have a license until 11pm which sounds kind of strange maybe especially mm. for you maybe because for you in Germany pubs stay open much longer most people go to the pub however, at 11. <laughs> however, in England there is a big difference because most pubs will open at 11 a.m. and be open for a full 12 hours of mm -hmm. not just drinking, of eating and playing board games and just having a yeah. right jolly with all your mates and the bartenders. In the night you sleep. <laughs> and I, I prefer that to going out at 6 in the yeah. morning like... Like in Germany, it's quite normal, really. But it works quite well because after 11 p.m. at night in England, that's when the clubs will then open. So you'll see people sort of filtering yeah. out of the pubs and into the nightclubs or like I was just going, <laughs> going home. Oh, a question for you, Mitch. Oh. How long are you doing this job? I used to work in theatre for about eight years in the technical department, um, always with the dream of doing something in film. You did, the, do, you did make films by then. Yeah, so I was kind of, we say, cutting my teeth. Uh, only like four years ago, 
I kind of made that switch from theatre to film and I was lucky to get like a freelance job working as an editor. And then um, me and Easy met. And um, at that time you were already working, I think, for Easy German or only just. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, Easy English was, a, there was an open position to make Easy British English. So we kind of jumped at it. Yeah, it's true. And how did you, how long have you been doing your job at Easy English and Easy German? Easy German, yeah. Um, well, now as a job for three years for Easy German and Easy English, we started a bit later. But yeah, I've been involved with Easy German for for longer than three years. So, yeah, I love it. Creating videos, teaching languages. It's great. It's really great. It's a, it's a really cool job. Is Easy. It's me. The sister of Carrie from Easy German. They look so same and the laugh. Oh, the M. Laugh? <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's like um, the lifelong question of easy languages. Oh, yeah, we, we get it on easy German a uh, lot with every video. <laughs> yes, we are sisters. We are sisters. That's why I was involved with easy German, like, forever. Mm. <laughs> But, yeah, we are sisters. Next question. It says, first of all, thank you for doing that. I presume the Q&A. You're welcome. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have few time to see all episodes, but they are very interesting. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> So I have a few questions. Um, number one, this is the question which comes second most after is easy Kari or is easy the sister of Kari is, I, are you a couple? Both of us, I guess. Not Kari. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The answer is yes. 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 We uh, also have a dog, which you might have seen in a couple of episodes. No love. She's annoyed that we're allowed now. Come say hello. Come here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh God. This is Nola. <laughs> she is grumpy because um, she is very tired and she just wants to sleep now, I think. But Nola, say hello. Uh, <laughs> oh, that Treat question. me for that. <laughs> Pay me for the job. Go to bed now, it's all good. Okay, part two. What is the biggest difference between Germany and UK? This is a good Ooh. question. The biggest oh. difference. You're probably the best person so to answer that, I reckon. We have first produced a video about that mm. already. Yeah, we have. About differences between Germany and the UK. So please also check that out. The random acts of kindness of strangers usually in England. Yeah. People will just lend Although it always hand. sounds like Germany is not friendly and that's not so much true. <laughs> Germans are more in most cases, more direct. And that can sound a bit harsh, I think. England and is a whole other world, though, really. Yeah. My, my friend, I have a friend who, um, he lives in Vietnam, and he recently said to me um, that people see England as the, the sort of the Japanese of Europe. Like, we just uh, go above and beyond to be polite, even when it's not necessary to do so. Last question. Has to be the last one. Yeah. But if you want more, then we want to hit those 100,000 subscribers in two weeks. <laughs> Yeah, please always send in your questions on yeah. our Instagram, yeah. on YouTube as a comment, anything, or via our emails. All our contact details are on our Instagram, mm -hmm. so you can find email address and our Patreon and all the kind of links that you need. So please awesome. send us always questions because we like to hear from you. We want to get to know you. We want to know what we could do for you to improve your English. Last one. Let's go. Last one. Last one. Um, so this one, I think I'm okay in saying this. This is from my mum. <laughs> um, and she asks us, uh, uh, what are our Christmas traditions? Um, so you've had a couple of English Christmases. That's good. I've had uh, 33 of them. Oh, you told your age. <laughs> <laughs> Generally speaking, we celebrate on the 25th. 25th is the big day. That's when you have your presents opening, when you're drinking in the daytime, uh, and morning. you're having a big um, roast dinner of roast vegetables and usually like a meat, like a chicken or a beef or a lamb or something yeah. like this. Um, and you, you know, having your friends and family over. But there are other very small things which happen. You have crowns on your hat. You sort of have to wear them. It's like an unwritten rule of eating your roast dinner. You have yeah. to wear this paper crown which comes inside. Yeah, Christmas crackers. We actually have them here now. 
but we don't have them here now. Anyway, they come in Christmas crackers, which is something that you pull from each other. We will get them and we'll pull them on the uh, outro video. So you pull the cracker, then you usually have in there a saying or so, a paper crown, Yeah. like on a children's birthday. It's quite cute. And normally a very crappy gift. Crappy gift. Usually like a paper gift. clip. Or a, a, t a thing that you hit a golf ball off Things of. no one needs. Things you do not need yeah, in your entire life. That is a special thing. I've never seen that anywhere else. <laughs> we will definitely do an episode about English Christmas as yeah. well. Not this year because it's nearly Christmas, but next year. Yeah, hopefully. yeah, for sure. We will yeah. invite you to our Christmas dinner. Yes. And we will all wear paper crowns. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for sending in so many questions. Sorry we couldn't answer all of them. But we will do this again with the 100,000. Yeah. And maybe before. Maybe before. But please, yeah, always send us the questions. We love it. We love to hear from you. And we will do this again. And thank you so much. That was big fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great. And become part of our community. Cheers Get involved. Again. Cheers. Get involved. Yeah, subscribe. Subscribe. Send us comments. Tell us anything. Tell us anything and everything. Tell anything us how your Christmas anything. is. Yes, please. <laughs> Merry Christmas already? No, maybe not. And Merry happy, Christmas time. And Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, two, one. What have we got? Oh, look, this is the useless gift. I think this is a magic trick. That doesn't fit. Finally, <laughs> a bad joke. What athlete is warmest in winter? A long jumper.